Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and look what I've got. I've got some protopasta magnetic iron PLA. I'm gonna show you how to print something cool with it, and then, and then we're gonna rust it. How cool is that? You ready? Go. Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome back. So like I said, I've got this magnetic iron PLA from Protopasta. The guys down at Protopasta, they sent me this. It's, it was a, it's labeled a, a bad wind, a bad wind, but they wanted me to experience their, their magnetic PLA, and I thought, well, this is cool. It's, it's a standard PLA, and it prints at standard PLA temperatures. It's got, it's got a one, this one's got a 1 1.75 millimeter diameter. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. It prints, it prints like butter. It lays down like butter, no joke. It is a wonderful filament. And what's interesting, here's what's interesting. You think, man, magnetic iron, iron bits, that's gonna just wreck my nozzle, isn't it? Funny enough, the particles in carbon fiber filament and in glow-in-the-dark filament are larger and harder than the iron particles in this filament. So technically, technically, you can print this with a standard nozzle and get more life out of the nozzle than you were to print carbon fiber or glow-in-the-dark. And this is what I did, I printed I use, look at it, I'm almost, I'm almost out, almost out. I printed on my Wombot printer and I used its standard 0.4 millimeter brass nozzle. Even after going through this entire 500 gram roll, I've got no problems with that nozzle. So that's, that's good, right? That's good. In fact, don't forget, when you're done watching this video, check the description. There's gonna be a link to where you can buy this filament and you should print with it yourself. I'd love to see what you print with this. But more importantly, Let's get to the cool print. As many of you know, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who, and, 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 well, ooh, look, look, I'm wearing an appropriate shirt. Look at this shirt. Oh, do you like this shirt? I got this shirt for Christmas. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. This is a cool shirt. All right, all right, enough, enough with my shirt talk. You may remember a certain moment back in 2012 where a six-year-old little girl being held by her father got to ask Matt Smith if he was afraid of the weeping angels. Hey. Say your name. Hello. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Hi. Six. 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 Wow, six at sevens when it all goes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Good crazy, though. What's your question for? What's your Doctor. question? Okay. What's your question? Are you scared of the weeping angels? Yeah. Are you scared of the weeping angels? Did you hear what he said? Can you say it again? Um, are you scared of the weeping angels? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But don't worry, because I'm here to fight them off. <laughs> so it's all right. Little whoop some angel bottom. Um, but yeah, I think you've got to be scared of the weeping angels. They're actually, I mean, I'm very scared of them, but they're also my favourite of, of the Doctor Who monsters. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Just great. Wasn't that cool? That was me. That was my daughter. That was Matt Smith. And, and, and she got to ask Matt Smith if he was afraid of the weeping angels. The, the, the thing went completely viral. It hit the front page of Reddit. I, I, got, to, I, I, I got to experience my, my daughter being oh, just internet famous for a little bit. It was wonderful. She had a great time. She got, to, she got to talk to a reporter from Australia who called and got to interview her just to talk to her and ask her what it's like. And, and in fact, at the end of the interview, the reporter thought she was so sweet she sent her a Matt Smith little action figure. And actually, oh, here, I gotta give a shout out. So that reporter, her name is Claire Connolly. She is, gosh, she is, she's just so nice. And we, we've, our paths have always crossed and we haven't met up, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a link to her Twitter profile down in the description. Please send her a tweet and tell her how awesome she is and thank her for that moment back in 2012 where she got to talk to my, my little daughter. Well, obviously I was a Doctor Who fan and my family and daughter and everybody was a Doctor Who fan before that time when she, my, my daughter got to ask Matt Smith about the Weeping Angels, but, 
But after that, of course, my heart was set. And even though I love David Tennant, Matt Smith, for, for good, good reason, he was he's now my favorite doctor. Go figure. But hey, look, this is a TARDIS. Look at it. Look at this. Let's see. Let's see. I'll move the light over here. There we go. Maybe we can see it better. This is a TARDIS. This is printed with Protopasta's magnetic iron PLA. And and the detail, the detail is wonderful. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some photos, uh, let's see, over here. There we go. There should be a couple photos up there, and you can see how how detailed how detailed this TARDIS is. It came out great. The roof is great. The light on the top is wonderful. The windows are good. I did I did have a tiny, tiny bit of stringing with this, and I did hit it with a, a heat gun just to get rid of that stringing. But here's the interesting part. Because this is printed with the Protopasta Magnetic Iron PLA, it's got iron par particles in it, and, and those will rust. You can you can hit this with some saline solution and and rust it. How cool is that? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to need my kids' help, and we're going to have to meet in the kitchen. So, let's go to the kitchen. Here we are in the kitchen, and and we're going to rust rust our TARDIS. We use the Proto Pasta Magnetic Iron PLA, and in order to rust it, we have to put it in a saline solution. First, we need to use a wire brush to kind of bring out some of the iron particles and then and then we need to soak it in the solution. So these are the kids. Say hi kids. Hi. They're going hi. to they're going to soak it in the solution for me. So I'm gonna step aside and I'll tell the kids what to do and then I'll have my trusty GoPro here in my 3D printed GoPro rig and uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay first up Okay, grab the TARDIS, grab the wire brush. You need to, David, you need to brush the TARDIS. Brush the TARDIS? Can we take, Not the top. Can we take Get the turns? sides first. Can we take turns doing it? Sure, you could take turns. And I want to do it when you're done. Okay. Was it my turn? Yeah. Okay, you better hold that. Right here, trade me. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Now that it's all brush. Now we need to make the solution. There's going to be three parts to the solution. Who wants to put in the first part? Me. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Sydney, you can put in everything that's in that. Thumbs Okay. Good job. David, you're next. Pour in some vinegar. That's good. Right there. Thank you. Okay, close up the top. Good. Now it's time to put in the salt, right? All of it? No. That's good. Mommy, can you get a little bit more water? Ugh. It smells like some Pour water. that in, David. When I was right oh my gosh. Okay, we need to stir it up. Okay, Sid, grab that. Uh -huh. Give it a good stir. Make <laughs> We have to dissolve the salt particles. It may happen, it may not. I think it's stirred. Can you take that out? Riley, will you put the TARDIS in there, please? Oh, put it on its side. There we go. There it is. That's it. Hey kids, good job. So it looks like you're going to go to bed and then you're going to wake up, hopefully, with a rusty TARDIS. What do you think? I think, I hope so. Okay. Wave Let's... goodbye to the camera. We'll do it in the morning. Wait, bye-bye. Wait, wait, what, what? Will it smell? I don't know. Let's find out in the morning. Bye.
what wasn't that fun the kids the kids didn't really want to get up and talk to the camera too much for the for the latter part when we when we recovered this tardis from its solution and and that's okay really so we we started with the we started with the solution in the beginning and then during the day today my wife moved it to a just a salt water solution after that and talking with the protopasta guys she took it and soaked a paper towel in the salt water solution wrapped the tardis in it put it in a ziploc baggie and then put it over the furnace register so the heat could help activate it and and now it's well it's it's a bit rusty look at that oh man here i'll tell you what i've got i got two here so here's the rusty one here's the non-rusted one and if you if you look all the detail is there but it just it just has this 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 rusty orange goodness to it oh it looks it looks fantastic. I'm looking on the monitor up behind the camera and you can, man, you can see, look at the difference. Here's the, the roof. Oh, the difference is wonderful. I mean, don't get me wrong. This, the gray of the magnetic iron from Protopasta is a wonderful, wonderful matte color and it looks, it looks beautiful, but, but, oh man, I, I printed something in plastic that rusts. How freaking cool is that? It rusts. <laughs> okay, so so here you go. Here, look at this. We rusted a TARDIS. We rusted a TARDIS. Rusted a TARDIS. Rusted a TARDIS. Oh, I'm just happy. This is this is fantastic. I'm so I'm so happy how well this turned out. This is this is fantastic. Oh, so good. So good. So good. Well, that was sure fun, wasn't it? We got to we got to print something in plastic that rusts and I Never in a million years did I think I'd ever be able to put that sentence together and say that on camera. Oh man, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for, for supporting my passion. I love, I love this technology and I love talking about it and I love showing off things about it. And so just, just the fact that you watch my videos and leave me comments and give me thumbs up, it's wonderful, thank you so much. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you thought this was cool. Give it a thumbs up if you love Doctor Who. Give it a thumbs up if you like rusty TARDISes, TARDIS I? Tar TARDIS, TARDIS, sure. The plural of TARDIS is TARDIS. Oh, here's something awesome. If you wanna support my channel, I've got multiple ways. So I, I have a Patreon account and I encourage you not to give me any money through that account, but if you want to go against my wishes, the link is down in the description and, and you can donate anywhere from a dollar to a zillion. I, if if you can calculate out. I don't know if Patreon takes a zillion dollars, but but if they do, you're more than welcome to, to do that, although I encourage you not to do that. Also down below are my Amazon affiliate links, and here's how that works. You click one of the links for your country. I've got US, I've got Canada, and I've got UK, Ireland. Click one of those links, and it takes you to Amazon.com, and it's the normal homepage, but you're taken there with a little tag that says, hey, anything you buy here Joel is going to get a small fraction of a cut from that sale. It's like a referral. It's like, hey, if you if you go through my links and you buy filament at Amazon for $20 a roll, then there's a good chance that the seller of that roll, as a thank you for me referring you to that roll of filament, will give me 40 to 50 cents. I know it's not much, but if a bunch of people do it over and over again, it it builds up. And it's it's a fantastic little little pick-me-up. It's great. So if you get the chance and you shop at Amazon, please use one of my links below. I, I, I appreciate it. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. All right, as always. So, so like the video if you like things. Share this with your friends if you think they might enjoy it. And as always, high five.